Now a thing was secretly brought to me, and mine ear received a little thereof. In thoughts from the visions of the night when deep sleep falleth on men, fear came upon me, and trembling, which made all my bones to shake. Then a spirit passed before my face, the hair of my flesh stood up. It stood still, but I could not discern the form thereof. An image was before mine eyes. There was silence, and I heard a voice saying, Shall mortal man be more just than God? Shall a man be more pure than his maker? Behold, he put no trust in his servants, and his angels he charged with folly. How much less in them that dwell in houses of clay, whose foundation is in the dust, which are crushed before the moth. They are destroyed from morning to evening. They perish forever without any regarding it. Doth not their excellency which is in them go away? They die even without wisdom. Although affliction cometh not forth of the dust, neither doth trouble spring out of the ground, yet man is born unto trouble as the sparks fly upward. The passages I read were from chapters 4 and 5 of the book of Job from the King James Bible. The thought behind this little video is the idea of illusions in the spiritual sense because the Bible after all is a spiritual text. And the thought that trouble doesn't spring out of the ground, doesn't come out of the earth, but that man is born to trouble as readily as the sparks from a fire spring up into the dark night sky. I believe the reason for that is that man has accepted an illusion in place of the reality. This is something that both Jesus and Buddha addressed. The, the lost identity that we each have that connects us to all that there is. And so man responds to his three score and ten with avarice, with greed, with the desire to accumulate wealth which will be corrupted by the moth in the end and all will be lost because man has forgotten who he is and believes a lie about himself. That's how I see it from here.